So I hope uh, I am audible and visible to all of you and welcome to this session of uh, dermatology that is approach to a question or a case of leprosy. So I think uh, many of you have joined me. So welcome everyone to the Unacademy YouTube channel and today I will be taking a short session of 15 minutes where I will be teaching you the approach to a question of leprosy. Now before going ahead, I just want to wish everyone happy Dipavli and as this is the festival of lights, so I want everybody to have to lit their uh, life with lights and to remove all the negativity from your life. I just want you to take a proper pledge today that you will not get tensed, you will not worry about the result of your exam, you just keep on doing, just put the 100% effort from your side. So I wish happy Diwali to all of you before going ahead and uh, welcome everyone. I think I have many students joined with me right now. So today a short session on how to take care of or how to deal with the case of leprosy. Before going ahead, just a little bit about the Unacademy subscriptions. So we have two type of subscription on Unacademy. One is the plus subscription which includes the access to the best of an academy that is daily life classes, live tests, structured courses and you can have unlimited access. You can watch the live sessions and you can watch the recorded sessions. For plus you can have 1 month, 3 months, 6 months, 12 months and 18 month subscription. The 1 month duration is around 4500 and if you use my referral code CHESHTA10, you will have additional 10% discount. So if you are planning to give your exam that is NEET PG 2021, please go ahead and get an Academy Plus subscription of either 1 month or 3 month. Now if you are planning to give your exam next to next year, that is next pattern exam in 2022, I request you to get an Academy Iconic subscription. Now with Unacademy Iconic subscription, you can have access to the best platforms on the, uh, you know, with one subscription, you can access the two best platform that is Unacademy and Prep Ladder. With Unacademy, as I've told you, you can have access to the live classes. With Prep Ladder, you can have access to the question banks, video lectures, rapid revision courses as well. For this, you have minimum one year subscription, which is around 49,500. And one month is around 4,125. If you use my referral code CHESHTA10, you will get additional discount over the subscription. Now, we are conducting currently a INI CT high yield batch. And I think tomorrow is the last day of that batch. So, if you are uh, planning to attend or give INI CT, you can go through these batch courses. The classes which have already occurred, you can see the recorded sessions of that classes. Now every day at 10 p.m. I conduct free live session on an academy. At 10 p.m. I have free classes and they are for the last minute revision. Last minute revision for NEET PG 2021. So these classes are free for all of you. So I request everybody to attend my special classes. For the regular updates, you can access my Unacademy Learning App Profile that is Chess KMTC 2633. Now at 9 p at 8 p.m. we have 20 questions every day from any subject, any topic. This is for a daily revision for NEET PG 2020. And for NEET PG 2022 or next pattern 2022, every day at 9 p.m. we have a series of 20 questions. So I request everyone to please go through these free sessions as this will help you revise whatever you have already read and this will also tell you that which topic is weaker and which is stronger for all of you. Now lastly, how to download the Learn uh, Unacademy Learning App. Just go through the App Store, search for Unacademy Learning App, download it. After that, you have to choose your branch that is Neat PG. In NEET PG, you have to go for type of subscription, whether it is plus or iconic. After choosing the type of subscription, you have to select the duration of the time you want the subscription for. 
and in the end you have to write the referral code J star 10 for additional 10% discount on the subscription. So I think everyone is uh, here with me. Please give me a thumbs up if you all are ready for the today's question. So it will be a short session of 15 minutes and the today's question is this. A 45 year old male had multiple hypoesthetic mildly itchy erythematous plaque with elevated margins on trunk and extremities. Same nerves of both the sides are involved. Now you have to tell me this is which type of leprosy. Lepromatous, borderline, borderline tuberculoid or borderline lepromatous leprosy. Anyone, I want everybody to answer the question over the chat section. <clears throat> So can anybody answer this question? I can see many students but nobody have answered yet. Anybody with the answer? <clears throat> Option 1, 2, 3 or 4. Yes, very nice Himachala. What about other students? So Kiran is also with the answer. Himachala is also with the answer. But please remember here the answer of choice is or the correct answer is option number 4. Now whenever you see a case of leprosy, you have to look for the clinical presentation. Whether the cutaneous lesions are present or whether the neural lesions are present or whether both of them are present. Now if the cutaneous lesions are present, you have to look whether they are single or multiple. Now why we are bothering about the single lesion and multiple lesion? This is because the leprosy it presents in a spectrum. So we have two poles, one end is the tuberculoid pole and another end is the lepromatous pole. In tuberculoid pole, the cell mediated immunity is strongest and when the cell mediated immunity is strongest or the defense mechanism of the body is strongest, you will have less bacterial load leading to localized infection. So first, in tuberculoid pole, you will see less than 5 lesions. Or in most of the cases, you will see single lesion. The next point is at lepromatous end, the cell mediated immunity is poor. When cell mediated immunity is poor, you have heavy bacterial load. And you have when you have heavy bacterial load, you have multiple lesions which are present all over the body. So this is a very important point that whenever you see multiple lesion, it cannot be a case of tuberculoid leprosy. It has to be a case of lepromatous leprosy. Now, in between, we have a borderline group. In borderline, the one which is present near the tuberculoid pole is called as borderline tuberculosis. In borderline tuberculosis, the difference is along with single or few lesions, you will see satellite lesions. Second is BB. Now, BB is considered to be the unstable form and it consists of feature of both tuberculoid and lepromatous leprosy. And the characteristic clinical presentation is called as punched out lesions or inverted saucer shaped lesions. While in case of borderline leprosy, you have multiple lesions which are almost bilaterally symmetrical. Why I have used the word almost? Because if they are 100% symmetrical, then it becomes a case of lepromatous leprosy. In borderline leprosy, they are almost symmetrical, but not 100% symmetrical. Now, another point you have to note that the nerve damage is maximum towards the tuberculoid pole because the nerve damage in leprosy is because of aberrant immune system. And at tuberculoid pole, you have good immunity or good cell mediated immunity. So there will be abnormal immune response more towards the tuberculoid pole. While at the lepromatous pole, because of poor cell mediated immunity, the nerve damage is seen very late. So if you look at the question, they have given that there are multiple hypoesthetic patch. So please remember in lepromatous pole, the loss of sensation is the last feature. So you will not see multiple lesions with hypoesthesia towards lepromatous pole. So this cannot be the answer. So the correct answer becomes borderline lepromatous leprosy. So this is a very important table which tells you that how the features of tuberculoid presents and how does the features of lepromatous leprosy present. In tuberculoid leprosy, as the immunity is good, you will have single lesion. 
Now, this is the clinical feature. You will have a very well-defined single lesion in case of tuberculoid leprosy. Now, if you look at the lesion from side, you will see that the lesion have perpendicular margin and they have sloping border in the center. So, this type of characteristic morphology is that of tuberculoid leprosy. As you move ahead in borderline tuberculosis, you tend to see satellite lesions. And here is a picture which shows satellite lesion. A large center lesion and you have few smaller lesions. These are called as satellite lesions, feature of borderline tuberculosis. The next one is borderline borderline and here you will see inverted saucer shaped lesions. Now if you look carefully from side, instead of perpendicular lesions like tuberculoid, this will have slanting or sloping margins and punched out center. Now this sloping margins and punched out center is called as inverted saucer shape appearance or punched out appearance also called as Swiss cheese appearance. This is a classical feature of borderline leprosy. Now as we go ahead in borderline leprosy, <clears throat> we have similar to this, similar to borderline, borderline you have sloping margins but now lesions are multiple and almost symmetrical. And in lepromatous leprosy, you will have diffuse infiltration and symmetrical lesion all of the places. Understood this question? Please give me a thumbs up all of you. <clears throat> So I hope this is clear to all of you. You can see that in case of borderline borderline you have punched out lesions or inverted saucer shaped lesion which is also called as Swiss cheese lesions. In case of borderline borderline or in case of borderline leprosy you will see almost symmetrical. You have almost symmetrical lesions in case of borderline while in case of lepromatous leprosy you will have diffuse lesions. And here you can see there is diffuse infiltration, there is involvement of the face and what is this appearance called as? Can anybody tell me what is this appearance called as? This is called as leonine facies. So now if you go back to that question, the question says that a 45 year old male had multiple hypoesthetic erythematous plaque with elevated margins on the trunk. And the same nerve of both these sides are involved. So you have involvement of nerves which is bilaterally symmetrical. And this again hints or give you a clue that we are dealing with a case of borderline leprosy. In case of lepromatous leprosy, you will have diffuse lesion. In case of borderline leprosy, you will have inverted saucer shape or punched out lesion. And in case of BT, you will have satellite lesions. So please remember this is very important point. The last thing which I want everyone to know here is in case of tuberculoid pole because of good cell mediated immunity you will have lepromin test positive. What is lepromin test? It is an intradermal test which is used for the prognosis as well as for the epidemiological purpose. Now lepromin test cannot be used for making diagnosis because lepromin test is negative in cases of lepromatous leprosy or borderline leprosy. So these cases tend to get missed when we use lepromin test as the diagnostic modality. So the only diagnostic modality which can be used for the diagnosis of leprosy is first the presence of clinical feature either skin or nerve. And the second is demonstration of acid fast bacilli which can be done by slit skin smear examination or it can be done by the skin biopsy. I hope this is clear to all of you. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you understood this point. Okay. Now these are some of the important points. Now with respect to nerve damage as we have discussed you will have 100% of nerve damage towards the tuberculoid pole because of good cell mediated immunity. But as you move from tuberculoid end to borderline to BB, BL and LL, you can see that the nerve damage is decreasing. From 100% it becomes 70 to 80% in borderline tuberculosis. It becomes 40% in borderline borderline, 10% in case of borderline leprosy and it becomes 0% or it occurs in a later stage in lepromatous leprosy patient. So please remember this point, this is very important. And lastly, if you do the histopathology, the acid fast bacilli will be absent in the tuberculoid end while this will be highly positive 
or they will be present in bundles called as globi towards the lepromatous end. So this is a case of leprosy or a very easy or a simple case. Now lastly I want to discuss there are few variants of leprosy and that is called as pure neuritic leprosy. Now pure neuritic leprosy will present with no cutaneous feature. Here only the nerves are involved and because of involvement of the autonomic nervous system and because of loss of sweating the patient can have ichthyotic patches. And the lastly, you have indeterminate leprosy, which is a characteristic feature seen most frequently in the patients or the family of the patients, where you have ill-defined plaque over the face, most commonly in children. Now, both these types is present in Indian classification system. While in case of ridley jopling you have lepromatous leprosy, borderline leprosy, borderline borderline, borderline tuberculoid and tuberculoid leprosy. So I hope everybody understood this session. So this was a very small session. Now if you want to understand leprosy in more detail, please follow me on my Unacademy Learning app profile. Every day at 10 p.m. I give you a more detailed classes with respect to the topics which I discuss briefly on YouTube. So if you want to learn more about leprosy, please join me on my Unacademy profile. Please join me every day 10 p.m. for these free special classes. So good night all of you, happy Diwali once again and all the best for your exams. Bye bye.